The race for Florida Senate District 10 is a contest between two people with political experience. Jason Brodier already serves in the Florida Senate, while Joy Goff Marcel presently serves in the Florida House. In Commitment 2022 coverage tonight, West Tuesday McDaniel looks at the two candidates for the Senate seat. Joy Goff Marcel was out knocking on doors. The election's less than a month away, and she wants to let people know where she stands. For one, she says she's an advocate for public schools. I went to public schools. My mom was a public school teacher. My three children all went to public schools, the same ones that I attended. She feels the political wrangling to keep teachers' personal views out of the classroom is wasted energy. As a mom of three children who have been raised in the public schools, I, I've never seen that. I've never seen a teacher trying to inflict their views on my kids. We reached out several times in an effort to sit down with Senator Jason Broder, but in an email, a spokesperson said they were not inclined to participate. On his campaign website, it lists his legislative results and priorities as promoting affordability and reducing inflation, standing up for personal freedoms, stopping the opioid crisis, tax breaks for teachers and frontline workers, and improving education. Broder has voted to raise teachers' salaries while in the legislature. Goff Marcel says when she goes door to door talking to potential voters, she asks them what concerns them most, what keeps them up at night. A lot of times they tell me that it's their freedom taken away as a, a woman, their, their right to make their own health care decisions. That's a, that's a really big issue that's at the door. She says a priority will be protecting a woman's right to choose. This is health care, and a woman should be able to go to their own health care provider and get whatever health care they need. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Senator Jason Brodeur does not state a specific position on abortion on his website, but voted yes on banning the procedure in Florida after 15 weeks. Senate District 10 is a new district covering Seminole and a portion of Orange County.